in mosquito control, surveillance is always the first step. Our mission, as you know, is to protect people from mosquito-borne diseases. Residents in Harris County and the city of Houston. Zika, it's transmitted by the Aedes aegypti, which are not only daytime biters, but they are mosquitoes that breed in our homes. In the tires, in the containers, maybe uh, natural tree holes, bottles, you know, caps, you know, I mean, they are very uh, opportunistic in finding ways to live close to us and live with us inside our home too. This is a, a site, one of the sites where we trap for the West Nile virus mosquito and they breed underground. Look at the mosquitoes. They were flying out because they're breeding out down there and most of the time they get caught in that trap. We collect them and bring them to the lab. But look at the habits, look at the areas here. What happens is when, when it rains, when you have a situation like this, water tends to not run through, okay? It's going to hold, it's going to be stagnant. And when you have stagnant water, and the mosquitoes breed right in there, and debris falls in there, so it creates a nice habitat from, for the Zika virus mosquito to breed in there, as you can see. Because the problem is created, look, by us. I mean, it's really, people need to help us help themselves. I mean, they don't need to create a problem like this, because when they do, all they're doing is they are affecting pretty much themselves and the neighbors. In the virology lab, they look at the mosquitoes, and they isolate them, they diagnose them, and see if they have any viruses. And the viruses that we look for right now is West Nile virus, St. Louis encephalitis, dengue, and chikungunya. We are going to start you know, also looking at Zika, because before Zika was not a concern, was not a problem, but now it's becoming a problem, so we're going to start checking in our mosquitoes if Zika virus is in them. You know, we will never be able to eliminate or, you know, get rid of all mosquitoes, but we can at least minimize. We can always work together to minimize the problem. You know, because through evolution, mosquitoes have been here over 100 million years. They will be here when we are gone because they breed, you know, so much in numbers. There's so many different types of species. And we can just find a way how to minimize the problem. So we will be living with them for a while. <laughs> Live with us too.